balance. Like, can you see okay? Like, if I put things in the center of the circle, beautiful. I'm going to sit flat on my bottom just like you are we're doing so nicely. So today, we are actually going to work with visual art. We are going to look, think, and talk about portraits. Now, some of you might have an idea of what a portrait is, and some of you might not have any idea at all. You might have to just take an educated guess. But by the time I count to three, I would like for you to turn and face a partner. I'll tell you just who your partner is going to be. You two are going to be partners. You two are going to be partners. You two are going to be partners. You two will be partners. You two will be partners. Does that work? And then the three of you are going to be partners. Is that okay? Yeah, the three of you, since those two are back there. So please turn and face your partner by the time I count to three. One. Come on this way. Two, turn and face your partner. Wait, what are you doing? You three. No, I had told the three of them to be together. Oh, those Yeah, three? it okay, was just so the way that it worked out. Perfect. So turn and face each other. And then you're going to tell your partner everything you know about portraits. You're going to take turns. And you'll have about 30 seconds to do so. Maybe I'll give you a full minute. If you run out of things to say, I want you to ask a very important question. That question is, what else? Can you repeat it? What else? So if you feel like you ran out of things to say about portraits, you're going to ask your partner what? Else. What else? Excellent. Go ahead. Your time begins now. I'm listening. Uh, a portrait is like something you draw or like a self-portrait would be um, you drawing your sign. You know how to do that intuitively. Scooch back just a little bit more. I know I'm being picky about the circle, but in a moment I'm going to put some things in the circle so we need lots of space. So here is what I heard. I heard some of the same things repeated over and over, which is great. That means that you agree. And some new things popped up. So I'll read what I caught, just walk you around and listening, and then you can let me know if I missed anything important. You said a portrait can be a self-portrait, something an artist does of themselves. A few of you said that. Some of you said it's a picture. You said skilled, I heard skilled artists make them. Some of you just said artists make them, and some of you said skilled artists make them. I heard a lot of you say that portraits are people, of people, of people in them, and you said that it sometimes includes their entire body. Anything I miss? Like something someone looks at to draw? Look, someone looks at it to draw it. Something else? Yes. You go to a place and then you get um, a, a stand and then you write that place. So it's base, it has a place. Yeah. Portraits have a place. Okay. Anything else that we can include up here right now? Does that pretty much sum it up? Very nice. Those are some good ideas. So guess what? I brought some portraits along with me. In fact, I brought 35 portraits. And I'm going to place them around the circle here. When I place them around the circle, your job is going to be just to look at the portraits and think about the portraits. You are not going to talk about the portraits yet. Very soon, you'll have a moment where you'll get to talk to each other once again and all listen. But right now, it's just your time to think and look at the portraits. You are not going to touch. You'll stay flat on your bottom, just like you're doing so beautifully right now. Now, some of you will have portraits that are right in front of you that you can see very clearly. And some of the portraits will be across the circle. They won't be so easy to see. We already know that these people will be able to see these portraits more clearly than they'll see these portraits over here. That's okay. It's still your job to look at all of the portraits around the circle. 
No talking yet. You'll have your turn, I promise. So you're just looking and thinking about the portraits. And I want you to think in your mind, what makes the portraits the same and what makes them different? I'm going to repeat that question again. What makes all of the portraits the same and what makes them different? Thinking in your own mind first, making sure to take in all of the portraits around the circle. Very nice, following directions. What's the same and what is different? By the time I count to three, you will turn and face your partner and tell them everything you notice that is the same and that is different about all of the portraits here on the carpet. Here we go. One, turn and face your partner. Two, three. Tell them everything you notice that is the same and different. Remember that important question, what else if you run out of things to say? Ten more seconds. They all have people. One is very dirty. One picture right here is very dirty. They're not as long with And like some are clean and some are not clean. Old, old, Something. So, and they all Keep going. They all each other. Some of them look real. Five, four, three, two, one. They all take place in different places. One. Please make me your focal point. Oh my goodness, Miss Serio. They came up with so many ideas. I could barely keep up with writing down all the things I was hearing. How engaged they were. So you said, all of you said it once, they all have people, you notice that every single one, whether there was a stamp or a coin or a vase, they all had people. You said that some were black and white and some were color. Really good observation. You said that there were different clothes. You also said they're in different places. You said that some are photos, some are paintings, some are drawings, some are sculptures. Really good observations. And then I heard a lot of you say, some are back in the day. What makes us realize that some were back in the day? Yeah. Because um, some of them dress up like when, and back in the days because we don't like dress up like that, like in this time. So the clothing told us that some were back in the day. What else? In the memory, it say 2003. Oh, so some of the artwork actually has words on them that tell us the time that they were taken or painted. What else, Jaden? Uh, they, they, all look like they got old furniture. So there's some old, there's furniture or there's objects, right, that tell us that some are the same, some are old and some are from present day. I also heard you say this, some are real yep. and some are fake. So I'm going to take these two images. This one here looks very realistic, right? This is a realistic portrait. This is actually a portrait that hangs in the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C., and it's as tall, it's taller than one of your walls. When you walk into the museum, it almost looks like this lady right here is standing in there with you because it's so realistic. You need to get up really close to see that it's actually a painting. 
Then we look at something like this. Is this a man that you see walking down the street? No, no. that's so fake. So some of you say this is fake. Does anyone know the type of art that we call this that's not realistic? It's what, Jaden? Well, that's a story that's not realistic. Good one. Very good. But what do we call artwork that's not realistic? Fiction. Fiction is also something that's not real. But actually, when we're talking about art, we call it abstract. Did anyone ever hear of that word? No. Abstract. Oh, now yeah. you know that if it's not realistic, it's most likely, what abstract. is it? Abstract. abstract. Really nice. So you just learned that new word, fake or abstract. Any That's other great. things that you noticed that were the same and different? Or did I get them all? I was really listening. Jaden, what else? Um, uh, I saw, like, 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 which ones are the same? Yeah, which ones did you 